welcome to all the viewers of Animation Express, IndianTelevision.com, and all our viewers on Facebook Live, YouTube, and wherever we are streaming from. My name is Anil Banwari. I'm the founder, CEO, and uh, editor-in-chief of the uh, IndianTelevision.com group, which includes Animation Express, your favorite destination for everything to do with the animation, visual effects, comics, and gaming industry. Today, we have a fabulous session, which is entitled Get Set Go Comics. Get Set Comics, more precisely. Uh, and you know, let, let me tell you a little thing about my, myself. I grew up reading Tinkle. Yes, Amar Chitrakatha. Commando Comics. I don't know how many of you all remember Commando Comics. We really love them. Tarzan, Phantom, Archie, uh, Veronica, uh, of course, and I can't forget Mad Comics. They were really so fascinating. Asterix, yeah. Tintin, is no good. Spider-Man, no Superman, we could not get enough of them. I probably spent more time reading these comics than I did studying. But don't worry, I did well in my studies too. I'm not trying to encourage people not to study, but I spent a lot of time. Uh, it was my escape into a world of fantasy, of make-believe. Even today, the graphic novel continues to fascinate. I just finished reading uh, the graphic novel of Paulo Colos, the, Colos, the Alchemist. It was adapted by Derek Ruiz and uh, illustrated by Daniel Sempier. You must read it. Um, it's available in very limited quantities in India. You've got to make sure you manage to get a hand on your co uh, a copy in your hand. And I just started reading the graphic novel of The Watchmen. I could read them again and again, again and again, not and not tire. They still help me escape, even at the age of 57. I'm not ashamed to disclose my age. And I love comics even at this age. So welcome all of y'all. We have a fabulous session planned uh, this uh, afternoon. Uh, my name is Anil Vanwari, as I said earlier, and we'll be having a, a, you know, panelists who have been driving the comics industry in India. We've got, uh, without any order of importance, it's just in the order that I can see them. There's Siddharth Raikar, who's all of 28, but looks like he's 14. He <laughs> represents Cross Comics. There's Preeti Vyas, who looks like she's 12. She's the president and CEO of Amar Chitrakatha. And there's Arunab Kumar, who's... Uh, Who's the latest interest in, in interest into this industry with a uh, with with a with a you know a venture called Indusverse and Abhijit Kina that oh Abhijit Kini the old warhouse of the animation industry <laughs> he's an independent uh, graphic and comic artist who's been uh, trudging a lone uh, trail in this industry and if Manish Verma has joined us he's the director of Diamond Publication if he hasn't we'll we'll be with him some other time so welcome all of y'all and. Uh, you know, let's have a fabulous conversation where we talk very openly about the way the uh, entire ecosystem of comics is moving and what are the opportunities. What, you know, where do we see uh, everything moving from here? Do we see digital as a new escape? Do we see physical also working? Or, you know, is the uh, entire thing that we have to save the environment will come in our way and we'll, I mean, I still love holding a, a comic book in my hand when I'm sitting in the toilet and reading it. It, it nothing beats that. Or when I'm not the same comic, but another comic when I'm lying down in bed. So let's get on with the conversation. I'll begin with the news and asking a question to the news entrance, entering into the ecosystem. Uh, that's Arunab Kumar. Uh, Arunab, so many people have tried, but nobody's really managed to build something of, of really large scale. Why are you getting into this business of uh, comics? Uh, I think, I think that's, that's the first question that everybody who wishes well or does not wish well has asked me that, why are you getting into this industry? Yeah. You know, in fact, so... Uh, like I'll, I'll uh, just uh, tell you guys a brief background of it is that like uh, like all of you sir, uh, uh, we are I think people in the 30s are the last generation who have seen or who have had you know who have read comic books on a regular basis you know we just announced uh, we just announced something two days back my official position and on that the first line we wrote was that comic book for us was YouTube TikTok and Instagram all rolled into one. You know, that, that is exactly, you know, so those panels can be Instagram posts or those, you know, so I think that was it for us. And uh, a few from us, uh, not a big metro, a metro still people had. Okay, Adnab, and, I'm going to pause you. Hmm. Please change your name in your, uh, in your Zoom before you continue chatting. In the meanwhile, hmm. you know, it's showing a CDP personal. We need to see it as Arunab Kumar. Okay. Uh, if you don't know how to change it, ask somebody to help you. In the meanwhile, ask Preeti, Preeti Vyas. What have you been, what comics have you been reading in the meanwhile, in the, you know, during this break that you've been having? I know we've been working from home. What comics have you read? So, of course, I've been rereading uh, my stash of tinkles uh, because it's part of the job, right? So, that's, that's a no, cool something part of my you like reading, not something you have to read. Uh, th I want to read this. It's, it's not something I have to do. Uh, it's, it's, that, that's a cool part of having a job in a comic book company, right? You get to do what you, what you actually love doing. And of course, the latest uh, Asterix, the new one which came out, I've been rereading that. So that's been fun. 
and uh, yeah, I of course read a lot of other things other than comic books as well. So uh, it's, it's been pretty packed. Fantastic, Siddharth. What have you been reading? What comics? Right. I want comics. As it's quite uh, obvious from the background, I'm a huge fan of Batman. Uh, and uh, something that I'm reading currently, apart from um, you know work or research related comics, are uh, uh, Batman comics. Uh, typically, the new 52 run uh, written by Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. Very, very exciting stuff. Excellent. So I've been busy, as I just said, I've finished reading The Alchemist, something which Preeti doesn't want to read. Not in the just comic book I will form. not. I will not take it up in this format. But you know, I've been reading this and I'm again reading it. I've read it thrice in the break and I'm, and I'm still reading it again and I'm still enjoying it. And I'm also getting onto the Watchmen, as I said. Uh, so we'll get back to uh, Arunab and ask him, what have you been reading, Arunab? Then we get on with your... So, uh, uh, I've just been reading a few. I, got, I bought all the indie comics uh, uh, there at Comic-Con. So I've been... I read uh, Angry Moshi. You know that. <laughs> I've read uh, some of Renil's comic books. Uh, okay. Then uh, I finished two from uh, Holy Cow, which is done by Vivek. Uh, then from an international point of view, I've been finishing uh, the Joker reboot, which happened. You know, that is something. So I wanted to uh, know because there are many origin stories. So mm-hmm. and then the movie came. So there was a lot of interest in pop culture. So that I finished. And then uh, I've been given Sandman to finish, but it's pretty thick. You know, it's <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm, I'm still supposed to still open it. But uh, it hasn't so happened. And yeah, one Harley Quinn, uh, the teenage version. So okay. I think, you know, so that is something because uh, me and Leanne, so Leanne is my co-writer at, uh, and she's based out of Goa. So we both uh, want to tap into that pulpy teenager stuff that is happening. And Harley Quinn is one of our favorite characters. So we bought it. We both have bought one one copy and we're supposed to start it. So that's yeah. what we're looking forward to that. And Birds of Prey also increase. I think in the pop culture, any event happens that it, it, it spikes your interest into that particular title. And so we watched the movie and wanted to get... Uh, Black Canary is a very, very uh, popular character, but I have not read a single title. And then Leanne, she has given me a couple of them and I have to start. So Harley Quinn and Black Canary is on my uh, next to read. I'll be sending you some comics going forward also. I will look forward, sir. So I think so. Uh, I failed in the IIT admission exam first time because I was over-reading comic books. So the interest has been there. Uh, then uh, in the last two, three years, I was fortunate enough to meet people from the Indian comic book industry, which is uh, Abhijit is there, Alok from Graphic India, Faisal Mohammed, who created Garbage Bin. I think it was probably one of the first digital comic book created. And then happened, you know, so we were discussing it since 2016, 17. 18, I actually had a chance to actually go and then I met and say, all, right, all of these guys are actually creating it. And while we thought, ki, okay, uh, when will uh, we be able to put a name on our uh, books? This was a desire that me, Alok, Somin, all of us shared together. And uh, yes, I think from Please an industry... Tell me, elaborate a bit. I know they're your co-founders. Uh, uh, so, so I think the idea was, uh, we love it. We love the medium. Uh, the pop culture excitement and curiosity has increased a lot. Uh, yes, uh, it is a tough business, but I think uh, we feel that with all the cross medium that is available, uh, it it makes sense to just attempt it. I mean, because we love the day job of making comic books, we are doing it. That's the first core reason. It's not because of a business, but we feel and content is something which little bit I understand from my past experiences. So I thought, ki, okay, maybe there is a possibility to match the two and do something in comic books. Okay, I'm going back to the second youngest uh, entrant in this. I'll, I'll I'll go back to the uh, the veterans later. Uh, that's Siddharth Riker. Your founder is a Korean guy who's bringing a lot of Korean uh, culture to India through the comics that he's bringing in. A lot of best-selling uh, comics which he's reading out here. And now he's looking at encouraging India, Indian independent artists. So tell us a bit about cross comics and uh, you know why, why entry into this business where a lot of people have had a lot of heartache. Let me uh, attempt to sort of uh, answer the questions that, um, that you put forth. Um, yes, uh, my CEO uh, of the startup, uh, Thomas, uh, he is a... Uh, he is a Korean individual uh, who has uh, a lot of experience in the content ecosystem. Uh, and uh, the interesting thing about uh, South Korea, China, and Japan, right? Like uh, they've always been at the forefront of innovation, right? Being, be it any part of uh, society. And uh, interestingly, somewhere in the late 2000s, uh, some artists uh, banded together and created a digital version 
also the local manga comics as they were uh, as, as they are technically labeled right uh, and these comics were uh, were called manhwa m a n w h a comics uh, and and this started off from south korea and it just picked up uh, and and caught on in other markets like china japan indonesia vietnam and all of that uh, there was a thought uh, by homus uh, and uh, and the team uh, in korea that uh, a lot of uh, indians right uh, typically view comics as uh, a kids only uh, entertainment format and not a lot of young adults uh, are sampling the content or are in the conversations as well so the thought process was to come here and uh, launch uh, this uh, very interesting and very mobile friendly format uh, of web comics uh, and uh, talk to the young adults of india saying that if you know what after you graduated from your tinkle and your tintins and your rama chitra kathas and uh, asterix and in all of those things right there there are other things as well that can keep you invested in the world of comics so that's where uh, we come from as cross comics fantastic so uh, you know uh, i was in uh, comic con in singapore earlier this last year actually and i saw so many people so many fans of one piece uh, that it really endures uh, yeah. the japanese uh, you know uh, the, the the creation of that mind which created that it endures and it doesn't stop so i can understand that uh, you know what the few what the future is for your company going forward with the digital uh, very digitally young population No, really lapping up whatever you have to throw out. So I'll go on to the, uh, you know, I'll leave the best for the last. I don't mean to say your guys are not good and good enough, but they've been the pioneers. I'll leave Preeti for the last. I'll go on to Abhijit. Uh, he's been almost like one. I don't know. Sometimes when I visualize Abhijit, I see a, I see a large ocean, and I see this one guy in a boat rowing. That's what I think of Abhijit. So is that is that a good uh, allegory, Abhijit, for you? I don't know. <laughs> it sounded scary the way you put it. <laughs> It's not scary. Come on, yeah. Uh, no, but I I think this is what I wanted to do right from a very very young age, right from childhood. Uh, so I always give this anecdote, but it's uh, I think it fits here. My mom took me to meet uh, the great uh, like Anand Pai uh, when I was in class nine, and that was a fanboy moment for me. Um, and he gave me a short story to even draw, you know, just because you know I was there. I was a school kid who was there. i drew it and at that moment i was like you know what maybe uh, comic artist is is a calling that i really need to follow up with in life so cartooning was something i really wanted to do uh, to a level that i was kind of working towards it right from my school and college days so i think uh, what i am doing today is kind of like what i wanted to do right from that time and when i started drawing for tinkle it was a dream come true for me and then on uh over the years i thought you know i can try a little bit of self publishing as well so yeah that's how that's how this uh, this began and that's how i'm happy doing what i'm doing it's you made it sound so simple yeah i'm sure there's some <laughs> drama to it no no there's no drama it's all pretty simple i built a, such a dramatic picture of you <laughs> no <laughs> okay so thanks for sharing that coming back to the single mom uh, preeti vyas no offense man Uh, oh, it's a compliment. <laughs> Why is it an offense? <laughs> okay. I, I didn't mean to. Anyway, uh, she's got a lovely son, and uh, uh, you used to run something called Fun Okay Please, right? Still run it. So, yes, still, still run, run it. it. So tell us a little more about your foray with Fun Okay Please. Why did that happen, and how did uh, the future group happen with uh, Amar Chaturkata? So I, I, to answer that question, I'll have to go back a little bit even before Fun Okay Please. So my actually, I did work with uh, the future group between two thousand. to 2009 for 5 years i've always been in the in the publishing and the book space i used to run my own children's bookstore uh for about 3 years between 2001 to 2004 i've worked at crossword in a previous life and uh, i i did work with the future group on the books and publishing in fact we were the ones who had started something called depo which was self publishing in 2007 so uh, then of course i uh, my, my son was born and i started fun okay please so fun okay please was uh uh was started to fill in the gap for contemporary indian content for the 3 to 8 3 to 10 age group because uh i really felt that there was a lot of uh, there's of course the history and the mythology which comes of course from ack but uh and there's a lot of the stuff that comes in from abroad uh but we did not have a strong contemporary in contemporary indian voice so we have a character called toto the auto and we have a bunch of books on indian cities um i ran the company for about 8 years and 9 years almost 
and that's when this opportunity came up to join Amar Chitra Katha and, uh, and I'm sure Abhijit will and all the entrepreneurs on the panel will identify uh, because then you put in so much of you know your blood, sweat and tears to start a company, you don't walk away from it. So uh, when the opportunity came up, of, of course, it was an unbelievable opportunity to lead a brand like Amar Chitra Katha but at the same time, I wasn't willing to give up um, Fun Okay Please. So luckily, they were very uh, supportive and we were able to find a way to make uh, uh, Fun Okay Please content, uh, license, license all the content to Amachita Katha and it continues to be uh, part of the Amachita Katha family as well. So how have you taken Fun Okay Please further into the Amachita Katha? Have you developed any new uh, uh, product in, under that? Or? At the moment, no, it's only been 10 months since I've joined and it, uh, there's really been a sharp learning curve. Uh, and then of course, the last three months you can imagine have been uh, all of us a sharp learning curve for everybody yeah. with the pandemic. But uh, yeah, with Fun Okay Please, we will continue. Luckily, the good thing is that, uh, so on Amachita Katha side, we have Amachita Katha Juniors, which is a picture book format for the three to eight. And eight onwards, we have, of course, Amachita Katha, the comics. Uh, on the Tinkle side, which is contemporary, we only have Tinkle, which is eight to 14. So Fun Okay Please fits in very nicely for the younger age group on the Tinkle side. Mm. So contemporary content for three to eight. Before they actually graduate to a Tinkle, they could read the Fun Okay Please book. So kind of it all fits in very nicely. You're still missing the 16 to 90 year olds. Uh, they, they're also reading Amachita Katha's Katha, Tinkle. No, but I'm talking about, you know, the stuff that Arunab is doing. Yes, yes. I think that we have our hands full. There's enough, enough of a market, enough of kids that we still need to target and reach out to. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's in fun. So we talked about the... Uh, uh, you know, we talked about what drew you all into the world of comic books. But now let's get on to, uh, you know, the last, like you said, the three months, what you just raised. Yeah. Uh, what have they meant to each of you and each of your <laughs> initiatives that you have been doing? Each of you. You know, we can begin with Preeti now, since yeah. you began with the last. Yay, thank you. Thank I you. feel special now. <laughs> <laughs> you are special, Preeti. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, the last three months have been absolutely phenomenal for us uh, from uh, a reach perspective. So uh, at the beginning of uh, middle of March, when the whole the first uh, shut, uh, lockdown was announced, uh, we announced a one month uh, free subscription to both our apps. I'm, to I'm sure. The half lakhs, the yes, of yes, we've got like half a million users now, and I've got some stats in front of me. I thought I should read them out. Uh, seven and a half million books have been read in the last uh, oh. uh, forty five days, oh. um, and fifty seven million pages of our books have been consumed. And the average user is spending 14 minutes, uh, which is really amazing as apps go. So they're actually reading the whole comic in mm. a sense. So it's been really amazing. And not just uh, uh, for us as a brand, it's also reaching out across the globe. So almost 30, 40% of the users have also been from around the world, which is another great, another, uh, great uh, development for us to be able to reach out to children from across the world. So that's on the apps front. We've also launched our own uh, online workshops. So digital uh, on, on a Zoom platform where we are uh, taking uh, kids in groups of 25 or 30 and going through uh, comic book creation, graphic designing, doodling, cartooning. Abhijit is leading one session for us on, uh, on drawing the defective detectives which he uh, illustrates for us. And uh, we, did, we just completed a workshop with WWF and Shambhu. So that's a whole conservation led uh, workshop and it was amazing. So we've been connecting with children uh, across the globe through the apps as well as through the online workshops. And it's really opened up uh, a lot of new avenues and reaching out to new uh, new users across the world. So the workshops, so Savio been organizing some of them? Has been Savio great. has also been doing them, yes. So the entire team, Reena, who's our executive editor of Reena Puri of uh, Amanjita Katha, she's been with the company for more than 30 years. So that's some amazing thing that the whole team just came together and we, we were all essentially just winging it at the start. We said, we're all stuck at home. Let's try to do something. And it turned out to be into a, a very viable uh, business model, actually. So you were charging uh, people for it? Uh, for yes, these are all paid workshops. These are all paid workshops. They range anywhere from 500 to 3000 rupees for either some of them are single sessions, some of them are two sessions, five, uh, five sessions, 10 sessions. Um, so go on more about them, please, because it may be another revenue model for Abhijit Kenny going forward. Abhijit is conducting one for us already. Oh. Yeah, he is conducting one for us. But uh, I think for uh, it's, it's been really nice for children to connect. The, over, the overwhelming feedback has been that parents are really happy and kids are happy. And this is not school, right? Because the tinkle or the Amitrikan environment is casual. It's fun. You know, they're not teachers. You know, they're editors and they're young people. So the, the banter amongst them is amazing. They're having a lot of fun. They're learning. The learning curve is very sharp because as we all know, uh, 
uh, with the comic book space when you're having fun with something you would learn a lot faster you enjoy yourself and uh, it's it's not a chore at all yeah, so so has really, it been more art or has it been more it's been a mix it's been a mixture of both Okay. So some of them, like we did a, a workshop called My Own Chitra Katha. So in My Own Chitra Katha, the kids are writing as well as illustrating. So they're creating the entire book from scratch over a 10-day session. Wow. So right from ideation, building the characters and writing their scripts and starting their doodling uh, and actually making the panels. So that's been... Next time, next time you're calling me, please. I'll let you know. Of course, of course. Speak we would love to have you. Yeah. So these yeah. have been interesting new avenues, uh, new uh, new business streams, new avenues for uh, reaching out to more readers. And it, I think one of the problems we had as, an, as a brand was a lot of people thought we were not active anymore or we were not doing active work. And this has just solved that problem in two months. You know, it's just been a gift from uh, the universe in that sense. Okay, I'm going to leave a... You know, since your traffic has gone up, yeah. Uh, have you had to uh, spruce up your back end, your technical, your CDN? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we were not, honestly, not prepared for uh, this kind of uh, surge in traffic. Uh, luckily, we have an awesome digital team, the young guys who are super charged up and uh, uh, they brought things uh, up to speed. But yes, in the initial days, the rating on the app was very low. So we had to work very hard because if you manage to get all this traffic, you might, you have to be able to make them happy, make sure they're reading because the core purpose of the app is to read. Uh, and and then to be able to convert them into right now they are, they came in as free users but how do I con how do I keep them how do I retain them where is the stickiness on the app what makes them stay so we're looking at animating some of the little panels you know it's something as simple as blinking an eye it's not very difficult to do but it just makes the comic experience that much more fun you also uh, have at, motion which is what I think are now that's right watch and also on, some podcast yeah, yeah podcasts and audio visual things and also uh, uh, just the last thing I want to say is that. The way people are engaging also is different. See, I think human behavior, we adapt to change quite quickly in general. So mm -hmm. what we would have expected to have happened, taken four or five years to uh, development to happen has taken place in two months. Fantastic. So, your audible experience has been pretty good. And your that's right. And uh, even with the app reading, so we had a mom who wrote in, she said that, you know, they are using the screen mirroring function on her phone to stream the Tinkle app onto the big screen, onto the TV screen. Wow. Oh, wow. And to read Amachita Katha on the big screen that way. And the whole family is reading one comic every day after lunch. Hey, that's, that's a great a, idea. That's a family mm -hmm. bonding ritual. Every day after lunch, they read one comic. They do all the four voices, all the characters' voices. Each family Lovely. member takes one voice. They read it together. And then after that, they share and they discuss it. And that's beautiful, right? That's a beautiful use of technology. And you always think that, oh my God, I'm reading a comic book on a phone. It's going to be a pain. But this can be a beautiful way to uh, enjoy no, a comic book. Even, even on the phone, and nor is it on the TV. Nowhere is it a pain. I'm sorry. Yeah, nor absolutely. No, I'm saying, uh, no, what I meant is from a parent's perspective or teacher's yeah. perspective, where they see reading on a screen is bad for the eyes, is bad for the brain, screen time, all of those. But here, seeing it on a large screen, I mean, nobody can complain, right? It's a beautiful experience. Yeah, where were you? Why didn't you come 40 years ago here? Yeah? <laughs> I was uh, uh, six years old at that time. <laughs> it comes 40 years ago for people like us to, be, and you said you've done, you've not been doing much in the past 10 months. You've done, I think you've taken it forward a lot, ACK. I mean, I've, I've seen the company. There've been a lot of talk in the past. Finally, uh, Kishore Biani invested in it. The Future Group invested. And you right. see, you've been here only 10 months. It looks like you've been here 10 years. It, it actually does feel like that. It feels like I've been here a long, long time. It doesn't seem like you've done months. so much innovation. You know, I don't think they had these. They used to have physical, I think they used to have physical meet Anand Pai et cetera, uh, and stuff right. like that in the past. But that I think honestly also has been a response to the crisis we had, we were facing. So uh, the last two, three months have been quite, uh, our, our print business will of course uh, recover very quickly. In fact, it's already right. opened up. It has Mr. opened up. Would you like and, it to open up? We'll come to that question later. Sure, sure, sure please. The, the print yes. versus digital. Uh, yes. Yeah, thing. yes. So Siddharth, I'll go to the next guy. The young, the 14 year old or 16 year old amongst us who's 28. I know you're 28. I'm just kidding. So uh, in terms of uh, what, what has been happening with your, uh, with cross comics uh, uh, in the last three months? Right. Uh, so we, we're still in our early days, right? We are still in the early phase of uh, launching an app in India, getting people to know about it, getting people to try and all of these things. Just launched uh, sometime in December uh, of last year. Uh, and therefore, what we decided to do very consciously was that in these three months, we wanted to know and understand our consumers better. Right? Uh, a lot of people had initially come in with the excitement of uh, wanting to consume comics that were a little different, uh, a little uh, you know, 
typical uh, comics as such. Uh, and, and we wanted to understand okay, what sort of genres are working, what stories are working. Is there something that we can do uh, that that will help the ecosystem a little uh, a little better? Uh, and in all of those uh, phases, right, in all of those uh, points, we just came up with actionables. Uh, so to uh, give you some examples, uh, we, are, we very recently launched uh, comics in Telugu as well. Right? Uh, the, one of the main thoughts of um, cross comics is to have content available in multiple Indian languages. So we had Hindi and English on the app already, uh, but we very recently launched uh, our services in Telugu. Uh, and uh, parallelly, we even did, uh, we, we are running, as, as you mentioned uh, a little earlier, we are running this creator contest, right, where we want to invite people, uh, artists, uh, young writers as such, uh, to send in their entries, to send in their work, uh, not just to uh, give them, you know, the carrot of uh, some cash prizes or something like that, but we want to inculcate them into the habit of creation uh, for uh, a, a in a professional capacity. So in, in those uh, two, two to three ways, right, we've been really introspecting uh, and, and thinking about, okay, where do we want to go uh, as, as a startup or as a company? What are the things that we want to facilitate in India? And, and those are the things that we are, we've been chasing for the last uh, three to four months. Yeah, but when I spoke to your boss, I mean, uh, hmm. Thomas, he was pretty excited about this. I think he, he's, a, he's a lover of comics himself. And uh, so yeah. how, what has the response been to the... Uh, uh, to, to do the exercise of calling creators? How have they responded? Uh, it, it's been really interesting. Uh, we've added uh, certain rules and certain, uh, you know, middle steps as such. Uh, and uh, over there, we've, uh, we've seen how people come back to us with questions saying that, okay, maybe, you know, my work is not in this format. Can you accept it in another format? And all of those things, right? Uh, because uh, while you know, the Instagram and Facebook and all of these platforms have always been there for people to showcase their work. Here is a platform that's coming and telling you, you know what, like, if you want to get your comic published, right, come to us, we can help you do that. Right? In that sense, it's really getting a lot of people excited. Uh, and uh, I think uh, in the next uh, couple of months, we'll really see some uh, original Indian stories uh, onto our application as well. And how will you incentivize the artist in terms of, is there a revenue share scheme? Yes, yes. That is a very important question, actually, right? Because it, it can't be things like, okay, it's just a, a one-time thing or, you know, it's, it's like, okay, you, a, a pat on your back or, you know, these so many likes and so much of exposure that you got. That's, that's not uh, the business that we want to be in because uh, if, and, and maybe we'll get into this a little later as well, if we want to build a sustainable uh, industry in India, right, about comics, the creators have to be the first um, people or the first group of uh, individuals who have the right incentives uh, to be uh, with a publisher or to be out there putting their work. So in, uh, in specifically in our case, we will be looking at a revenue share uh, arrangement whereby with every view or with every download, with every like or certain other parameters, uh, the creator would get compensated fairly for his or her work. But as compared to other, compared to ACK, there's a, uh, you, you're a SWOT platform. Or call it an escort, escort, uh, subscription comics on demand. Mm -hmm. If I'm mm -hmm. correct, we'll call it escort. Fair enough, fair enough, why not? Uh, but even in that case, right, uh, for the premium or the locked uh, content as such, every time we see that there is a transaction that happens, a part of that money does go to uh, the original creators as, as well. So it, it it's not uh, just a one and done sort of a situation where we just like uh, li license comics and, you know, keep it. Uh, in our app and then forget about the artist. That's not what we want to do. We want to encourage them. We want to educate them as to what the best practices are and then keep <coughs> giving them meaningful incentives right, so that they keep coming back to us uh, and they use cross comics as a platform of choice when it comes to publishing their comics. Fantastic. So now Abhijit, mm -hmm. your story, last three months. Last three months, um... We have actually come up with a plan to convert all our comics into e-comics. So on our website, we have actually uh, put up all these files as e-comics, which people can buy and download. For those of them who have missed these comics, uh, haven't come to Comic Con, or you, have, you know, Amazon wasn't shipping, neither were the physical copies. These e-comics kind of worked out. <clears throat> so more and more people could uh, fetch these comics for a lesser price. I mean, at the end of the day, they always say, independently published here. So... 
uh, we are scared to pay you 100 120 bucks as as though like we are charging them like a thousand buck thing for a marvel issue still you know 100 is a very uh, iffy figure for a lot when it comes to array but this is no dc this is no marvel but what happens is when it's an e comic when it's for like a 50 60 buck bracket people want to test it out and since they didn't have any option and want to still read stuff it worked uh, besides that, I think workshops is a domain that uh, we have actively been into for the last at least three, four years, uh, workshops and education, because I am a visiting faculty at a couple other places that was keeping me busy for the first two months till my module was over. But workshops is something that we do. And with ACK, uh, especially now with these fun workshops we're doing, Defective Detectives, that one went off really well. We do, really we well. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Uh, so, you know, it kind of like bounces off, you know, that, you know, you, you like to talk more to them about these comics. Um, there's one for superheroes, which is coming up this weekend. Besides that, uh, we ourselves as Abhijit Kini Studios, we run our own workshops via Insider. Uh, we used to do a lot of physical work, like uh, we used to have people here, but now we are doing it via Zoom there as well. So workshops is a domain that I've been very actively pursuing because I believe an artist should be able to branch out, uh, not just draw for a living only. One needs to expand. So under Kinney Studios, we have workshops, we have merchandise as well. So a lot of people who come to Comic-Con or visit our website would know a lot of our collectibles. Since printing isn't happening, this gives us time to go back to the drawing board and figure out, you know, what next? What are the next few collectibles, useful collectibles? Masks is something that we are looking at. I mean, as since this is something that people want to look at, we thought, why not try these out? So these are some, uh, you know, decisions we've been taking. Um, I think Zoom has been a tool that everyone's been using very actively. And I think uh, the first few weeks went in figuring out all the shortcuts and the tools. But uh, I think we got okay with it. And I think uh, this is what has kept me busy personally for the last uh, two, two and a half months. So uh, will we see balding men wearing angry Maoshi masks? Oh, yeah. One being me, myself. I need to pose myself to promote my own products. Uh, but no, uh, a huge chunk of uh, 30 plus, 40 plus people are readers of Angry Motion because A, we say it's a socio-political satire meant for mature reading. It is not, a lot of my Tinkle readers actually come up to my stall sometimes and say, hey, you know, you, you draw Butterfingers, you draw Defective Detectives, you draw Super Weirdos. Can we pick up Angry Motion? I said, unfortunately, no, you can't. this isn't for you. <laughs> this is probably for the adult who's there with you. But... Um, uh, there is a sizable, I mean, for a cult following, I'm not saying that we've broken numbers or anything, but for a self-published uh, comic creator, we have a sizable number of people who are waiting to try out these Angry Maoshi merchandise. So that makes us happy and that makes us create, uh, you know, more stuff for that age group as well. So are you developing new characters also or you're sticking yes. to... Yeah, yeah, because recently I launched Angry Maoshi 4 after a gap of uh, almost four years, four or five years now. Uh, Angry Mashi 4 has a bunch of new characters. Uh, so people, there's there's a girl called, uh, uh, you, you, you need to read it. Uh, Lal Bacha is one new uh, character that uh, that is there in it. Uh, but uh, there are these different types of characters that are based completely on uh, local flavor, you know, like local superheroes. Like Dr. Manhattan was spoofed as Dr. Kandivili in... Uh, <laughs> Angry Mashi one. <laughs> yeah. And I always spoof because I love Mad Magazine. I love yeah. the humor that I've kind of... What me worry? What me worry, yeah. worry, yes. I was so sad man. when they announced that, you know, they're not going to come up with more Mads and it's only going to be reruns. But Mad is Mad. So, yeah, new characters in Angry Mashi for sure. Fantastic. So, Aruna, what has kept you busy apart from uh, looking after dad and, look, and, you know, apart from that? So, uh, I think, you know, something very similar to like uh, Abhijit said and, you know, uh, we had decided that we will never make soft copy of our books. That was in December 2019. <laughs> you, know, you know, when we were like saying we, we will remain Puritan, you know, we want to make this like vinyl records of the future. We want to make it as cool as Polaroid cameras of the future. And all those aspirations were there. And they were like a lot of, you know, because... When I, uh, this was the first time that I created something which you can touch, feel and hold. And I said that, okay, if you know, I'm doing this, I want people to hold this and feel that this is the most amazing thing that they're holding. And uh, like the box took six months to design and everything. So we had said, no, no soft copy. Then March comes, <laughs> and 
if we had just done a store launch and we realized that there is no shipping and then it took us april to realize ki okay guys you know what i think we'll have to <laughs> go back and so we yes we did digitize the book in the april and month may months that is where it has all gone out efforts have gone there we could also do some more typo corrections we could also do little bit of the books are for 13 plus parental guidance so there were like some edit that we decided to do so i think the entire team and luckily unlike content and shoot and production i think you know we all should feel lucky that comics yeah, is one yeah. space is absolutely happening in court absolutely <laughs> yeah so you know artists don't like uh, nobody actually comic book creators i don't see they don't even like going out of house like you know yeah. i from people like i have met like rakesh nagula kunda who did he is never out of house he is always like you know can we meet at our place only so you know it has worked out uh one interesting thing which i wanted to uh, tell uh, point out to pt here that the thing that you have where people are on reading amar chitrakatha on the big screen actually yeah. you should figure out a good family and record the entire video while i know i know such an actually, such an amazing it, simple solution right and you should do that because that's a great fab thing for the brand also. yeah yeah choose a family the family will be happy correct, correct. that we'll choose three families where yeah. we will actually record them yeah. and you can have on the inset the comic book and the entire family is reading characters Absolutely. it will be a phenomenal thing for the brand yeah. as well as you know so no, and the fact is that otherwise it's a very it's a solo exercise right you're yeah. it's an individual relationship with the characters here as a family you're interacting with the characters yeah. so yeah. the entire dynamic changes of how you are how the parent consumes it versus how the child perceives it the the dialogue between them it would be i mean it's it's beautiful it's a totally you told me that 7 and 1/2 million books have been read and some 7 and 1/2 million uh, uh, users yeah. would Uh, no, seven and a half million individual. Seven and a half million individual books have been read. Okay. Second yeah. stats was second stats was was fifty seven million pages. Wow. Yeah. So, I'm, I I think that in ten months you have pretty much completely renovated the brand. ये सब दो महीने में हुआ है लेकिन. So and so yeah. So when so by the way when Kini announced when you announced Abhijit the e comics on your Facebook, <laughs> actually that is was our. Uh, We, me and Alok, of course, we are friends, so we discuss. He says, "Tiyar, yar, abhi." Karna padega. Karna hai abhi to abhi se lagta hai, you know. So we decided, "Ki bhai, chalo abhi karte hain." Wow, thanks, yar. <laughs> yeah. So, so, but what? As always, a torch bearer, Abhi Jeet is. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what? I mean, what formats are we looking at? Dot CBR. We are looking at uh, PDFs. We are looking at EPUBs. We are looking at AZW3. What formats are we looking at? Going forward and PDFs for me. PDFs for me, but uh, I would like to explore more. ये तो एक वो एस ओ एस वाला एक्सरसाइज था विच आई सेट डाल देते हैं सी वन थिंग इज दीपल कैन डाउनलोड एंड शेयर इट बट देन वन पार्ट ऑफ इट इज लाइक इफ दे आर रियली पायरेटिंग माई बुक्स आई बी इट गेट्स पायरेटेड ट्रस्ट मी इट्स पायरेटेड आई मीन फॉर प्रीति आई डोंट नो वेदर इट वर्क I mean, because PDF should be shared very easily. No, we are using only EPUB. We are not doing PDF. Yeah, there's a even EPUB can be pirated. Even EPUBs can be pirated. Yeah, I think I think from a from a video and because I have done engineering, see, once data is created, data is copied and data is yeah. stored. So there is nothing you guys can do there. So like, even before this, you know, Anil, we have been struggling and fighting this battle. Every literally every week, I have signed you know three C's and this is notice going out to someone or the other in the world. Mm. The entire Google Drive folders with old Amar Chitra Katha comics, which people Will share saying, "Oh, this is part of your childhood, and it's no longer there." So here, this is. Could you guide me, thing, please? You know? Could you guide me to it? <laughs> Piracy. Sorry for being mean. mean. Sorry for being mean. I will leave this room. <laughs> no, no, I'm just. I was just kidding. So yeah. you know, during the early so part been, of the. I've been early. writing impassioned blog posts saying that, "Hello, we are alive and kicking. We are keeping Uncle Pie's legacy alive. You please read and please buy our books. Do not, do not, do not encourage piracy because that's the end of the road. If that's how it's going to be." Yeah, or the other way around is you uh, rent the comic books online rather than having a rather have them buy it. But either way, if the mentality is that it should be free, then it's. Then Don't charge me hundred bucks. Right? Let me read all yeah. your comics. Charge me hundred bucks and let me read all your comics. So we have a. Don't charge me per title. Yeah. No, we're not. We have a subscription on the app right now. So you have an option of doing both. You can read a particular book if you want, or the Tinkle app is as low as hundred rupees a month. Read as much yeah. as you want. Read all the books that you want. So it Fantastic. is a subscription model. So I think a lot of more communication. I didn't know this. I'm right. sorry. I mean, with the awakening of the interest in Rama and Mahabharat, I think your interest in your comics, which you had, which I grew up with, with yeah. Krishna, with all the titles, it should have Absolutely. skyrocketed. Yes. And you know, you should pass the message around, maybe do a lot more social even, media even engagement. Even on 
even on kindle uh, we are part of the kindle unlimited program which means you can uh, subscribe 500 rupees a month or whatever kindle unlimited is charging and you can but that's a little high audience. But that's a little high. Not to me. Kindle has to bring its prices down. Yeah, but then they they have a huge, a very very huge catalog. Anyway. Yeah, but for the hundred bucks is a good, is a good, is a good yeah. uh, touch point. Right. Uh, so just one question. That, uh, I think the, the, do they? Uh, so what is the business arrangement when they give you are a part of unlimited program? I think Anil sir, you can also highlight like when you are a part of Kindle Unlimited. How does the business arrangement work for the publishers and for APK? So. Uh, uh, Amazon Unlimited, Kindle Unlimited, they have an algorithm which calculates how many times your book has been read, right? And then they take the the the, the subscription revenue and then they map it to how many uh, how many times your pages have been read and they give you a percentage share of that. It's a it's a little complicated matrix, but they'll share it with you if you. But is is it substantial that. for you as it a group? Is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, then it makes yeah. sense as a, as a publisher to uh, absolutely get and into you know, that site. Kindle has done for comic books. If you think about it, they've done the uh, hard work of making the format also very very nice because you know, you can read panel by panel. It's got the double sure. tap function, mm. so you don't have to do the pinch and zoom all the time. Every time you tap on it, it comes up panel by panel, and that's a very great experience. So you can read this 14-15 minutes. You can definitely enjoy one whole comic, a much of a comic, a 32 page, uh, and and really enjoy it. Okay, I'll tell you what excited a lot of people in WhatsApp earlier this when the when the COVID thing started, there was uh, Asterix Comics link shared by everybody in WhatsApp groups. Yeah. I don't know if you all got a chance to get a hold of that. I wrote mm -hmm. on each of those groups saying this is piracy, please stop. This is illegal. This is unethical. This is you know stop doing this. But so. considering that you know uh, you know uh, people were locked down, it at least kept people at home. Imagine reading twenty titles of Asterix and not going out. It takes time. Yeah. I'm not condoning it. What is illegal is illegal. Isn't what it? is that's it. End I love that passion. Right? I love that passion. You're not going to just because you're on lockdown. You're not going to go and uh, steal food from a shop, right? Because oh, I'm on lockdown and I need to eat this food. No, you still are paying for it. So uh, you have to pay for the content you consume. I love but that passion. I think mind, everyone should have it. Yeah, mind, body, or soul. You better pay for what you consume, right? Is, do all of you agree in that, or does Abhijit say that? No, but Abhijit also said he'd like his books to be pirated as much. No, as no, no, can. no, no. What I said was I run the risk of having it pirated, but then I can't handle it. So I'll be like, okay, if four more people are reading, that's the most I can do by putting it up for sale at least, because people have a complaint that, like I said, hundred rupees zada hai, fifty ka PDF hai to download and read. Okay. उसके ऊपर भी मेरे को मेल्स आते हैं कि fifty uh, का आप can you give me four titles for forty can you give me yeah I mean, no you know? exactly no it's <laughs> ridiculous it's ridiculous but the same yeah. people will go and buy the DC Marvels for whatever two thousand three thousand rupees uh, and carry that you know heap and come over to our stall sometimes and say ah can you give me a discount on this Angie Moshi book this is that hypocrisy. So you still can't please that part of the audience, yeah. but the genuine readers will download it it's that say, without spreading it around um, and say that, okay, you know what? I enjoyed it. Uh, at least it's accessible. So Anil, so, allow, yeah. sorry, 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 please finish. Yeah, no, that's it. That's it. Anil, yeah, allow, allow, allow me the indulgence of 50, 60 seconds more on this topic. Please go ahead. Yeah. It's your platform. I'm, I'm <laughs> going to provoke you until you bring out your best, until you come yeah, out yeah, your yeah. best. Not to worry. <laughs> So I, what I want to say is that one of the major reasons why the Indian publishing industry, uh, especially children's books and the comic book industry does not grow is because the price of our books are, is so low, right? A children's book or a comic book in the US, how, how is it priced, Abhijit? At least $20? Yeah, definitely. Ten, going, by, going by even our Asterix and yeah. Tintins that we buy the imports here, it's pretty yeah. expensive as compared so to 20, the uh, trade backs here. For a children's book, a $20 is a standard or a 10, 10 pounds is a standard price. Absolutely. In comparison, I am selling an Amachita Katha single at 90 rupees today, right? Now imagine if for the same comic, if, forget about $20, I'm not even talking about 1500 rupees. If I were to be able to charge even 200 rupees for it, everybody in the chain, right from the retailer, distributor, wholesaler, publisher, artist, illustrator, writer, everybody would make some money, right? Mm. The reason it doesn't grow is that price remains such a constraint for us. And we are constricted by that upper limit that it cannot go beyond 100 rupees. And yeah. then everybody is stuck in the, in the pipeline and we're all doing this for passion and love and all of those things. But if you really want the industry to grow, the industry has to grow, yeah. which means we have to sell more, which means we all have to earn more money. That and we cannot that. definitely not encourage piracy, that's for sure. And I think, Very well, sir. I think it's not just about abroad. I think I shop for books with my nephew and niece. 
and they are 11 and 6 year old and that's also one of the reason i got into it so they buy jeronimo stilton they buy ah, the river 3 400 okay. bucks Yeah. 800 800 700 bucks yeah. digest for even for eight. and in their schools they are right. told that okay, these are so that gora hangover is something we indians anyway have which we clearly pointed out that you know yeah. some yeah. alcohol and this you know so wahi to wo hamara problem hai hamari hey. society right. cultural is suffering from that but yeah. i think uh, you are right that if we don't value our own stuff and we don't Absolutely. say that we all have to come together and yeah. i don't i don't know but can you all come together is there an industry body as such which can bring it together i i, I think you know what we should i don't know if there is one for comic books i don't know if there is one but they should i think no there is an i don't think it's an industry body problem i think it's something that every publisher every creator has to start valuing themselves and start pushing the envelope i right? understand so how many of the how many of your publishers are serious about comics let's count them oh. well it's our main business so i'm definitely no no i'm saying how many publishers are there are there 15 uh 18 publishers serious graphic india diamond comics raj comics we yeah. 2025 you? i could think of yeah yeah uh so there's enough for you all to have an association come together as a group and work together to uh, you know evangelize and educate uh you know uh, comic books can be a beautiful means of uh, education Absolutely. i mean i remember i remember reading uh, all the uh, marie curie illustrated comics which used to come out classics yeah. illustrated but read, we, um, as far as amachita katha goes we are part of uh, the education system as well I understand. so yeah so, you know. there are textbooks where we are you know if it's uh, eighth standard history for example rama pratap is the subject then that uh, the entire pages of our comic are reprinted inside the textbook so we do have a lot of that uh, happening as well on the education side i understand but you know you all can you all can get together on that front plus on the front of uh, getting the prices yeah, yeah, right you are not organized that's the problem that's true that's you are fighting against each other rather than rather than fighting with each no, other no i don't think we're fighting against no, each no, other no no in the sense not, there isn't the unified the yeah. uh, unified voice is not there i agree with that see the good thing is that you know we, are, we as indians i think netflix is a case in point prime uh, uh, video is a case in point we are willing to invest close to anywhere between uh one 200 rupees a month for a mobile subscription going up to as much as 900 rupees a month for netflix for a, yeah. a five yeah. people a family of five subscription to watch and there are a few million people doing that right so there is there is a there is a potential for you to move in the digital side and getting comics getting more evangelized so we need a comics platform cross comics is that amar chitra kada is, is that now you need to ensure that you'll just go beyond your own titles and maybe welcome and grow the expand the universe or oh, or let the let the fourth person come who sets Haan, up a bilkul bilkul absolutely if you are not interested if you all want to be and you all can be a part of that aggregator yeah i think would love to actually know from uh, siddharth that what is his numbers like what to, what is the potential readership which he thinks india has when it comes to online reading of comic books is there any data right. around that right uh, it's actually a very uh, important question because um, with um, instagram and facebook um, taking off and in fact even making the careers of a lot of uh, independent artists in india right uh, we've seen that uh, the market for comics uh, in india can be anywhere between you know the 25 to 50 million mark uh, and we say this with a lot of seriousness because uh, uh, when you see uh, you know young artists like uh, paperback down paperback comics or even someone who's as upcoming as the uh, corporate comics they've started off they've had humble beginnings but they've been consistent and you saw you see the sort of engagement that they get on their pages right on on their social media accounts or whatever it is and those numbers are very very high they are very meaningful numbers so in that sense uh, the the uh, the hunger for uh, visual stories is there right it's there in the digital medium for sure uh, it will now be a matter of uh, how that is used Uh, by a platform or as anand mentioned by an aggregator to you know further educate people to further encourage creators into ensuring that the industry uh, sustains and uh, keeps growing ask another question to him because i'm listening i'm learning too from him all of you know everything so i'll move on to my coming back again so there's a physical universe and there's a digital universe in the events business people are saying we're going to move towards towards digital which is physical mm. and digital uh do we see the fact that younger people want to save the environment they don't want paper to be used so much do we see the new i mean i know a lot more people are very conscious so do we see 
a transition increasing towards digital more and more and physical being there. I mean, I love reading my comic book in the toilet and in, when I'm eating, not the same one, of course, my mother would have killed me if I told her I took the comic from the toilet to the breakfast table. But I love reading my comics at both places. So do you see a digital universe existing with it gradually moving more towards digital? Nobody heard me, did they? Yeah, Come we are all <laughs> wondering who's going to yeah. answer first. <laughs> yeah, yeah so. I, it's, a, it's, 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 you're right, it's, it's important that there are a lot of people who are, so I, I'll tell you a very interesting story. First book of our industry first is about a character who fights for nature. Uh, no? That's Wendell, based on Wendell. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Wendell Rodericks is playing a character there and, you know, we were, now the girl actually fights for trees and it is about the whole land mafia and deforestation which is happening. And we had an internal debate and my co-writer, Leanne, so we both created the character, Leanne, she is from Goa. And we both used to actually... What's his second name? How do you pronounce her name? I can... Leanne Texeira. <laughs> Tex, what is that? Make it simpler. <laughs> Continue. So Leanne and we both used to actually debate sitting in Goa amidst the trees that, you know, uh, this is one problem which, uh, you know, we have to either confess humbly that, okay, you know, we are talking about trees and, you know, we are talking about a character who fights for environment. At the same time, uh, then we researched, then she also said that, hey, do you know that there is something called pineapple leather, which is you, which is made from the, uh, you know, peel of pineapple and actually is becoming more fashionable than animal leather. So she's saying that if you actually deep dive into it, so there are also ways in which, you know, uh, it's a cross pollination of environment conscious decisions, which are happening. Yes, paper, people are trying to use recycled paper a lot. I think everybody is trying to do that. Uh, digital readership will happen will increase i don't uh, see a reason that uh, uh, people will stop having uh, books completely but they will become uh, you can say what happened to the horses before the car or what happened to the you know a cd player before an mp3 so i think that that changes of course for the from a mass perspective comicsology is a very big uh, platform where people are reading and apparently it's, it's, it's one of the biggest and the best so Comic books will be vinyl records, like you said, you know, very few people will say that, okay, we want to cherish, we want to keep it. But, you know, there is a very interesting uh, history lesson. Uh, in, the eight, in the 19th century early, when people started having public library, everybody predicted that now individual book buying will stop because everybody will go to library because the books are free and it's on rent. But it has been 150 years, books are still bought. Kindle is already 20 year old, but books are still exactly. Exactly. So there is something about books as a physical medium, which just ceases to, uh, you know, uh, just go away from the mainstream culture. Yeah, your other people's opinions. Uh, you've really took center stage there. Very well done, Aruna. Anyone else? Yeah, so I, I'd like to answer that. I actually started my career in India with Sony Music. Um, uh, this is uh, all the way back in 1997. And, oh, wow. uh, you know, we, I used to sell... Uh, uh, we actually worked on the, the launch of uh, Vande Matram, A.R. Rahman's Vande Matram, oh, wow, right? Okay. And no, kuch kuch hota hai and all those where we used to sell like 75, 80 lakh CVs. That was, a, that was a sales target we used to chase. And then it just vanished, right? The entire industry just died out. And uh, we all said that the same thing is going to happen to books when, uh, uh, you know, when the Kindle came out. And of course, Kindle, the ebook sales started going up. And at one point of time, they reached 30% of the overall uh, the publishing business, uh, book sales. Uh, and then they've come down to 25%. And it's kind of been at that plateau for the last decade almost. It's just not crossed. And in India, it's even lesser than that. So uh, there is like, there is some affinity to uh, reading print. Print is not, is not dead. Now, of course, post COVID, we are living in a different world. So I don't know. Uh, I think that that number will go up significantly, but print is still not going to die. Um, yeah, but I wanted to share something with you. You know, in, in I, Japan, I also feel I also feel that when it comes to books, you know, uh, a Kindle is great. I love to read on my Kindle because I read four or five books a month, so I cannot physically store that much, and it's nice for me to be able to flip between books. But the average reader in India is not reading four books a month, right? People are reading one or two books a year. That is the average, for which you might as well just have a book and it's cool to walk around with a book in your hand as well. So that <laughs> that factor still remains. It's a fact, right? <laughs> So the, the, yeah, I just want yeah. Okay, yeah, can yes. I interrupt you? In, yes. You know, you talk about Sony. In yeah. Japan, actually, physical uh, sales of DVDs and CDs, it's one of the largest markets in the world. Hmm. Because the Japanese, as, as culturally, they want to give back to the creators. 
Right. And I don't know what will happen post COVID. We don't know, but yeah. this is pre COVID. It was a physical market. There was very little digital. Right. There was digital, but the physical market was large. Right. So you know the aficionados, the lovers. Lovers. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Will will continue, and it's and large. Really. It ran into billions of dollars in Japan yeah. for music. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you know, coming back to the same thing, uh, Abhijit, uh, your 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 view I, on physical I have, versus. Yeah, yeah, I have been a fan of the physical format forever. In fact, uh, like Arun have just said, um, you know, people, you know, would definitely want uh, to read the digital whatever. But then I always used to be like, "Maine karne wala." Uh, I would always print this and I will always keep it because I believe that this is how a comic book should be. However. lessons learned uh, march was like a bam like you know it's like a big uh, realization that exploded that if you want to reach out you have to use the uh, internet you have to use the soft copies um there is a sizable population which still does that uh, you know read web comics or you know uh, e comics uh, but given a chance i would again dedicate a lot of my inventory to physical uh, you know the pages feeling the page when you're reading it uh, feeling the artwork is what i would call it you know when when you turn the page it's a very different feeling what happens on the next panel you know on the next page that is an experience sometimes you lose out on the ipad when you i mean sure there are apps where you know you can get these nice panels popping out but doesn't replace so i'll, I'll give you a very very basic example uh, mad again i'll come back to mad mad uh, i had subscribed to the physical copies just before they shut down and then i downloaded a few of their e comics on their dc app does not match up to that classic mad paper and that it just falls flat but i do understand that there is a sizable population so now is when i will actually think okay if i am printing comics i will uh, need to make sure that that file is up on uh, my website to download but i'll keep some inventory in print as well so there are other ways and means of doing this also you could put part of the comic book online and they could buy the rest of it offline that's another thing you know uh, there, are, there are people are using different kinds of tools yeah or yeah, I mean, yeah but then you know with 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 this comic reading population i'm not sure how much of that experiment might work yeah. they either need the 100% thing or the entire thing for free so then be ready <laughs> for piracy be ready if you're going to put it up there be ready for that it's going to really hit you very hard unless you have a secure online reading of uh, enclosure i i mean i no, but like you said the, but yeah. like you said people who want to do that will crack yeah, that as yeah. well you can't yeah. stop them i mean today on mobile phone scanning technology on a mobile phone the scanning is so good right if you really right. want to sure. scan the entire comic anybody can do it so, so are right. you seeing a lot of that happening with you with your with your uh, app not no not yet because not yet. netflix netflix videos uh, shows are available within 3 hours of them launching on yeah. online torrent sites right Right. and all over the I, world i think the the bigger answer to this whole question of print versus physical ultimately is that what is my role in life as as a i am a content creator right we are creators of content we are storytellers and eventually we have to step above and be agnostic to the medium mm, we, sure. because content is king what the person is reading is the story and the experience of the story and the characters and and that and eventually like i was telling my team the other day that 20 years from now if there's a way to digitally stream from our server to the reader's brain we should do we should be doing that whatever <laughs> is the way whatever is the way the reader wants to consume the content we should make it available that's like an we episode want, for black mirror our, huh, we <laughs> want our story we want <laughs> our story to reach the reader that's it right true very true this is but coming back to another point of conversation how large is the industry in india and how does it compare to the let's say the us market or let's say the japan market which is i think massive in terms of manga and you know anime etc uh, so uh, anyone throw some numbers i mean uh, how large is indian the indian comic market what it's about a 200 crore market max or is that too high numbers i would not have any idea Preeti, you would be having some numbers. You come from a corporate background. <laughs> well, it's very difficult to estimate the actual uh, comic book uh, market because a lot of it, like we said, is uh, either it's it comes in as uh, like imported stuff, which comes in from Marvel, etc., which is sold through the books channel, and then it's not really classified separately as a comic book. It just it's just imported in lot and it's it classifies as a as a book. So it's mm. difficult to do that, but the publishing industry in India is about nine thousand crores. 
right? Which that's, is a, that's, that's bigger, yeah. yeah that's big that, textbooks that include No, 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 that is, that is trade publishing only, not education. So trade publishing, I would say 5% of that. So if you'd like four, 500 crores would be a, would be a big number. Wow, that's that's an interesting business to go after, Arna. Pretty interesting, and even for Siddharth, if you go into the physical side. Uh, so, so if you look at that sizable business, how do you grow it? You're saying prices can go up. One prices go and go up, and uh, just building, creating more readers. You know, so also, um, it, it's you have to keep going after telling parents that it's not bad to read comic books because that is that the Indian parent is very obsessed with academics and education, yeah. right? So. This is always looked as something which is bad or almost like uh, homework karo ge to khelne betho. You know, it's like it's a reward for studying. Whereas uh, I have, we, I've been beaten badly by my parents because I read comic book. My comics book collection was actually put with kerosene oil and burnt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh your mom. Pain, 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 pain. My, my heart breaks for you. Really. Yeah. So, my so, so, yeah. so Raj comics, you know, like my favorite Raj, Dhruv, Tulsi, Tosi, ACK and all, you know, and I had collected few of them and my my father was against any form of entertainment in any medium. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to share with you, I've got prints of ACK which were 25, old, 25 wow. years old. I went wow. and bought them from a Raddi shop. How beautiful. I mean, I wanted to collect them. I've got the early prints. So I right. keep collecting them. Anyway, coming back again. So how does it compare to other markets? I mean, maybe... Korea, if you if you if Thomas has shared anything with you, uh, one uh, thematic difference between uh, the two markets, right, um, is that uh, the content ecosystem in a country like South Korea is just so tight, uh, uh, tightly woven uh, into each other as compared to a country which is you know as vast and as wide as India. And I'll give you an example, right? Uh, the it, it, suppose a comic, a, a web comic as such, becomes popular. Uh, the logical next steps for this content piece is uh, an adaption into the novel form, an adaption into the animated form, an adaption into the live action form, and maybe there is some musical uh, inputs or musical angles that come in uh, in, in somewhere uh, in that uh, space. So if you like music, if you like books, if you like comics, if you like anime, if you like movies, or if you like listening to music, right? That same story stands to capture you in so many different ways. Ah, you and, forgot and they, the you forgot the merchandise. Absolutely. Oh, oh the merchandise is that that's just at another level. Like they've perfected yeah, continue, that continue. science. Yeah. They've absolutely perfected that science, right? Uh, so in that sense, one story has a chance of being a lot more efficient in a country such as South Korea than uh, in, in a country maybe you know as as vast as India. And I think that uh, difference will really decide how uh, we, uh, as, as a comic uh, medium, right, as, as this uh, very uh, interesting emerging format, I, I would still view it as uh, in the same category as the podcast even, uh, can uh, lend itself to IP extensions or any of these other uh, potential revenue streams uh, and, and see how the industry goes from there. Yeah, so you know, you, you've got a class, you've got some class skill titles. What have you done with them? You know, I know ACK said some years ago they would launch a TV channel. There were plans to do it. I don't know if you're aware of that. It was way before your time, uh, pre Preeti. Yes. So uh, there were all kinds of announcements. Even Diamond announced they would launch a TV channel some years ago. I think four, 10, 14, 15 years ago. My, my age sometimes catches up with me. So, you know, what has the comics industry done to extend itself into other legs? Tell me. I mean, why have we been so... Uh, Preoccupied, why have we been only gazing at our navel rather than extending? I think one is uh, when I when you talk about, let's talk about merchandise first, right? Merchandise being the most logical extension. Uh, it is also about your uh, consumer base being ready for it, right? So maybe even till 10 years ago when I was working in the future group, the Indian mom was not willing to spend 20 rupees more on a lunchbox because it had a picture of Batman on it, right? Lunchbox, lunchbox served the purpose of a lunchbox. I'm not going to pay 20 rupees more because you put a sticker of some character on it. That so that's one idea. So that mentality, no, has, that mentality has changed now. Now the yeah. Indian parent, the child has the pest of power, there is disposable income, and they're willing to spend on merchandise. And one is the parent part. This applies to everyone, right? So disposable income growing uh, means there is a market now for merchandise which didn't exist earlier, right? Uh, in terms of uh, audiovisuals, if we're talking of TV shows or uh, movies, Animation. See, I'll tell you what. 
my 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 uh, nephew he's uh, he's a, he's a management consultant i've been to whenever i go to delhi i live with him he's got box sets of every one of your books he's probably spent any if i want to give them a gift it has to be amar chitra katha box sets his wow. kids are 13 and 14 right. so he's invested a hell of a lot in it so one is that because the tradition is so strong he grew up reading your your yeah. your, your visual storytelling of all the classical right. uh, mythologies and histories so uh, you all could have easily extended further into uh, creating you know this netflix come out you all have stories to tell could you all There's there's lots of Durdashan. You all could have done the Mahabharat. It had to be a Ramanand Saga or a B R Chopra who did it. Right. Well, I can't talk about the past, but uh, keep your eyes open because there's lots of more fun things planned and exciting things happening in the future. And uh, as the no, without revealing. So what are you looking at? Extending it into the video format or yes. mo- photo motion or animation or well, because you know so many new studios have come. Green Gold yes. has shown that. Uh, A, a character called Bean can become a, a 300 crore franchise, Absolutely. which is probably bigger than any of y'all and all of y'all put together. Yeah. As you know, Green Gold is probably a 300 crore uh, company. Right. Yes. So, so we are we are going to experiment and we are going to be making our foray into all of these different channels. But uh, personally, for us, running a profitable company is most important. Keeping the comic books because uh, I personally feel uh, a great debt of. Almost a debt of gratitude to Mr. Pai, to Mr. Anand Pai, who created this, founded this company. He's genius in his in his lifetime, he created four five hundred comics. My first priority is to ensure that we keep that legacy alive, and we take that legacy further by creating more comic books and creating uh, creating more content, not just living off what we already have. Right? That is the that is the most important priority. And then, of course, all of these extensions. How do I leverage what we have? What are the different ways possible? We have to explore all of those. Yeah, but you know, you have a future group has a, a, a has that's got a. Uh, you also have your apparel division. There's easily we, an extension into that. We have done. We already have. We have a okay. range of Supandi and Chambu T-shirts, which are doing extremely well. Okay. So yeah, we have licensed our characters to FBB, and they have been selling those. In fact, we have licensed to Soul Store and to many other partners. The the stall at Comic Con uh, yes. has a lot of these, uh, you know, collectibles we have, there. We have bobbleheads and mugs and stationery and T-shirts, and we have all of that. So that we is have, growing for you all. That is growing, is it? It is. It is definitely it is. But go on to the Amar Chitra Kala titles also, because those are something which we are like uh, amazing. I mean, the, yeah, but uh, you know, from a from a merchandising licensing perspective, the IP is uh, I I own the character Supandi and Shambhu. We don't own Lord Ram, right? Anybody can create. Uh, um, Merchandise around that, so we have to be able to. Uh, the IP is what matters when it comes to licensing out uh, for merchandise. We don't manufacture the merchandise ourselves. We work with uh, with licensing partners. Okay, but the other thing is like you know your your art that showed the yes, Ryan, that is of course for me, for me, for me. Uh, yeah. That's why the continuity, my nephew to his kids and probably yeah, to his yeah. kids. And that iconic image of Krishna on the cover is yeah. your is your visual idea of Krishna almost. So right? why not you? Why not get into that? We are. We have. We do have plans for that as well. Fantastic. So yeah. great. I mean, uh, coming back again from all of you, how to expand this? She said it's a 500 crore industry. How to take it further? One is taking prices up, which might be a little sticky now with the economy in deep, yeah. you know, in a bit of a mess, and people wanting to probably binge on some things, not on uh, things like this. Uh, so how? How? Aruna, you've always been a lateral thinker. Let's let's hear your lateral thoughts on this. Well, I think. when it comes to this industry i think everybody here is knows a lot about it i'm just a beginner here so i'm just a nascent kid here but uh, boss you have been you give you come into an area which is uh, and then you blow it up and then you uh, make it into something substantial so let 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 not everyone uh, dismiss you as a newcomer please i think i think uh, uh, always what helps is doing some research and i was able to sort of browse through the history of comic book i'm sure all of you all know that marvel went bankrupt four times in the last eight yes. years yes and uh, Uh, i think you know there are stories you know when we we always no, mostly no, discount no, the no, journey no, behind it why not get into that we feel that okay you know let's compare a green goat ip but there are for one green goat there are probably 30 uh, animation ips which have not succeeded you know so we always tend to take that one successful extremely successful example and try to standardize it yeah uh, it's not a very fair example but yes i feel uh comic books and the creators and stories they have been there but we haven't if i say that okay i'm a part of this industry now we haven't rediscovered 
ourselves beautifully in other medium see it's not just about okay we can do animation we can do movies we can do shows we can do games we can do merchandise we can do workshops we can do schools i think these are ideas as old as walt disney himself yeah but i think if you uh, take an excel sheet of even one translation of this let's just say merchandise or let's just say animation the fat excel sheet that goes behind doing it properly and beautifully is pretty it's pretty tiring and to get a team i don't think uh, that writing team and artist team of my comic book will do be the best people to actually convert them into a live action thing uh, it 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 takes a lot of homework i believe that if uh, we are able to convert let's just say one ip each from our comic book prep publishers forget everything else just one angry moshi i've been fan of i went to abhijit said ki okay when are we doing like a wacky animation around that you know that is one thing uh i understand live action movies and shows little bit so we thought that okay maybe we'll think of something like that and that's what we kept in mind uh amar chitra katha you know with the bahubalis and tanha ji happening you know they are sitting on repository they are, they literally have story boards for all historic and you know period movies in their library so we together i think we'll need to identify our strengths and pick on that mujhe lagta hai sir ki one एक बहुत ही बड़ी सक्सेस इज इनफ टू पुश द इंटायर इंडस्ट्री रादर दैन यू नो मतलब यू नो मेकिंग मेनी अटेम्प ऑन मेनी थिंग्स एंड देन नन ऑफ देम बिकमिंग समथिंग विच यू नो एवरीबडी लव सेंस वी नीड टू एक्साइट द पॉप कल्चर विथ वन सक्सेस ईच फ्रॉम प्रॉब्लम are uh, oh, and and definitely there is a good tailwind happening here because there is a great uh, a heightened interest in our own culture in our own roots tana ji being a good example it was we've had it in our catalog since the 80s to the 1980s and the movie came out last year and we did a special edition with ajay devgan on the cover uh, and uh, we again saw like i think we sold some 30 40000 copies in that period so um, there is like i i do agree with what you're saying completely that you know what is our strength and what is our core i am not a movie maker i'm not a filmmaker right uh, i know how to make comic books i know how to tell stories i want to be doing that whether it is merchandise or films or animation or anything else i want to work with the best in those fields right and and work with my content i don't want to do it myself because it's not my expertise i get it so uh siddharth wants to show us something siddharth can you speak and show us what you want to show us yeah I, uh, so uh at this one second let me just uh yeah turn the background off tana ji yeah, yeah. it's your comic book yeah, yeah so this is uh, a very old print uh, of uh, tana ji Yeah, uh, I think uh, at the time this was sold for about uh, five rupees or something. Wow, I picked it up from, a... yeah. So I picked it up from collection. Blossoms in uh, Bangalore. Bangalore. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. A very delight. Uh, it's my favorite Amar Chitra Katha title. So how much did you pay for it from Blossoms? So the list price was sixty rupees. So I I did pay that. Oh, fantastic! So I I yeah. I scout around at Raddi Wallas. That's where I get them. I get them for ten bucks, twenty bucks. all comics mm -hmm. so i still have a massive collection of your and some of the covers are becoming loose in those days the binding wasn't that great now i think the binding is much yeah. better but the but the but, but the smell of that of the classical old comic which is Amazing. yellowing it's it's something else i'm sorry if i'm sounding like an old man but i am <laughs> and i'm a lover of the art and lover of the art so uh, you know uh, it's been lovely any questions you all want to ask each other please go ahead we've been at it for 1 hour 20 minutes wow. and i think wow. it's not been boring it's not been tiring uh, any questions you all want to ask each other please go ahead i have lots of questions but you know i'm i'm getting uh, my team prompting me you've over as usual you're talking uh -huh. you're talk, making people talk too much and you're you know talking too much if anil so, you could ask someone in your team to send a joint email to all of us so we can all get connected with each other of course i know abhijit but i would love to connect with uh, siddharth and arunab as well Yeah. Good lord. And uh, yeah, I think yeah, I think uh, what uh, we are just three books old. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll I'll send you guys the copies. You know, when the hard copy starts. Meko digital base yeah. Meko. I'll finish it quickly. Digitization is complete now, so I think you'd love. Forward mark karna. That's all. Ni me forward nahi karunga. Ni me forward nahi karunga. Yeah. No, because uh, and see if I forward, it'll be just for experimental reading to Abhijit. Who won't forward it for them? <laughs> I have his books. I was one of the first ones to buy his books, and I launched. I helped them launch it on stage in Delhi. Yeah, yeah. I am sorted. Was, well done. He helped us launch the book at Delhi Camp Comic Con. <laughs> Fantastic. So, uh, any any last words from any of you all to say, or you know, whatever. 
uh, have we are you all happy with the way conversation that's been going on any other points you want to add or no i think uh, people who are watching this uh, you know you guys uh, read comics and uh, whatever is available right now on the apps of each one of us uh, it'll be great if you can download them and spread the word around that the indian comic scene is actively uh, providing content during these times as well so don't wait uh, go right there download read and maybe we can all give a plug in of our uh, website links so mine is kinestudios.com/comics uh, how about you all just plug in your uh, own sites or apps yeah so we have uh, ack comics uh, that's the uh, ack app and then we have tinkle which is uh, the tinkle app and now tinkle we are doing uh, fresh content every week on the app so it's 20 pages being released on a weekly basis uh, so that's lots of fresh content plus we have video log Blogs and blogs and audio and not. And to anyone who's watching, do not support piracy. Please buy original comics. Pay for the content you consume. Uh, piracy is illegal and unethical. Both. Thank you. Bolo yes. uh, uh, Arsena. So, okay. Oh, Siddharth. Uh, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, so uh, we have a application on the Android uh, Play Store. So it's uh, called Cross Comics. K R O S S. K O M I C S, uh, and currently we have uh, about fifty to sixty uh, stories that are available, multiple chapters across each uh, of the stories, and they are available in English, Hindi, and Telugu. So go ahead, enjoy. So yeah, guys, so yeah, the youngest kid on the block, <laughs> so, <laughs> not age-wise, but uh, we are called Indusverse, uh, Indusverse dot com, and uh, yes, this is an appeal to all you viewers and whoever is watching this. Uh, are uh, you guys are anyway sharing memes around hulk and iron man i think it's about time that you guys start remembering your characters see this is doga it's one of the doga there from you know so we have way too many cool characters if you read about lord shiva on ack you will find that he's much cooler than thanos and anything else <laughs> yeah kya baat hai absolutely <laughs> thank you for that so i think uh, i have truly believed in the coolness quotient of indian stories and characters uh there is nothing cooler than bade bhai sahab character from premchand there is nothing cooler than lord shiva from ack there is nothing wackier and mad than angry moshi from kini studio <laughs> and i'm sure you know uh, the uh, the telugu character comic books original tamil comic books which are coming on cross comics we also have tried at indusverse to make comic book titles for 13 and above uh we are trying to make these books available in college libraries and there are commentary on the current uh, situation and hopefully you guys will read it and trust me yaar i think all of us will promise you that we will deliver one cool thing from our ips and in library and uh, together i think with the help of you viewers maybe we'll we'll have our own amazing stuff happening soon absolutely thank you so we probably have another session where we'll talk about different photo motion static comics we'll we'll talk about that once more hopefully we can have another one Thanks a million to all the all the all the viewers and thank all the you, listeners. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of your part panelists. You have been great, and uh, I keep pressing buttons because I want to get the best reactions out of you. Thank, thank, you you <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a okay. great evening, and until bye. we meet again, goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Thank you. Bye. 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 bye.